Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. A topic we have been talking about and we will continue to talk about because I think it's coming, and that is subscriptions for things on your car. And a bunch of people sent me this story, but it was widely reported. Saw it at both the Drive.com and GM Authority, uh, where Sam McEutrin talks about Buick and GMC models get mandatory three-year OnStar and connected services plan. Now, OnStar has been available on GM cars for quite some time. I had a car a while back that had OnStar on it. And they gave you a few months for free in the hopes it'd get you hooked. And I didn't get hooked. <laughs> didn't use it, and I let the uh, freebie subscription expire. But General Motors is thinking, well, we should just make people buy it. So the available OnStar Connected Services Plan allows GM owners to get the most out of their vehicle by providing a constant high-speed internet connection for navigation, music streaming, and more. While these plans are currently optional on GM vehicles, a three-year OnStar and Connected Services Plan will be mandatory with the purchase of a new Buick or GMC from this point forward. GM Authority recently learned that the automaker will equip all new 2022 model year and 2023 model year Buick and GMC vehicles with a three-year OnStar and connected services plan. The plans will cost between $905 and $1,675, depending on the chosen trim level. GM said the cost of the three-year plan will be integrated into the vehicle's MSRP. However, the online configurator tools for the Buick and GMC brands suggest these charges are added on top of the MSRPs. And some people will notice, and these guys caught it too, is that if they'd wanted to, they could have just built it into the vehicle and said, there's no option. You just It comes with the car like your windshield, okay? But that, that's not what they're doing. And I think it's a bit of a marketing issue. So it says includes $1,500 three-year subscription and $175 OnStar and GMC connected services capability. And uh, to enhance our customers' vehicle ownership experience beginning June 2nd of 2022, new retail Buick and GMC vehicles will include three years of OnStar and connected services premium plan, a GM spokesperson told GM Authority. This offering provides our owners with a full suite of OnStar and connected services for three years, providing them with more time to enjoy services such as remote key fob, Wi-Fi data, and OnStar safety services. By including this plan as standard equipment on the vehicle, it provides more customer value and a more seamless onboarding experience. Personally, everything that OnStar does, I believe, can be done by a smartphone. I, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I had OnStar. But I'm pretty sure that anything it can do can be done on a smartphone, which most people already have. As more internet-enabled features arrive in GM vehicles, connected services plans will become more important to the overall ownership experience. Without an internet connection, GM vehicle owners may not be able to take advantage of certain vehicle features such as Maps Plus, Alexa built-in AI assistant, audio streaming and navigation, These plans will be even more crucial to the EV ownership experience as they will enable features like GM's Ultium Charge 360 platform and its new plug and charge payment system. This change will be extended to fleet focused trim levels of Buick and GMC vehicles as well, but fleet customers will receive the OnStar Vehicle Insights feature instead of remote access. It's not clear at this time what the price difference will be for these plans on Insights versus remote access. So that story actually came out a little bit ago. Uh, However, it's been percolating in the news. And so the drive's Peter Holdereth uh, did an update very, very recently. And the important part of the story is he points out the way this change rolled out is classic GM. (laughs) He goes, it's a classic GM forced error. Dealer markups aside, New car prices are somewhat insulated from rapid inflation because they're typically set in annual increments as each new model year comes out. We are now getting into the 2023 lineup launch season, and we are seeing already some hefty price jumps to account for increased supply chain costs. So the costs of the cars have gone up. That's because now the GMs had some time to absorb what's going on and figure out what's going on. They realize, oh, our costs have gone up. So we'll build that into the cost of the cars we're selling. So GM could have raised all these MSRPs 
simply said it was inflation and offered a free three-year OnStar subscription to soften the blow. There's a reason they didn't do that, though. Get there. Instead, it's thrown itself into the melee that is consumers raging about subscription options on new cars with mandatory option, which he calls nonsense. It's not as bad as trying to paywall things like heated seats, as BMW found out recently. Nor is it as convoluted as Toyota's plans to turn its key fob remote start into a subscription service. But the idea that buyers are forced to pay for something they may not want that was previously an optional subscription is undoubtedly going to raise concerns. And the whole thing feels a bit Orwellian when GM insists on still calling it an option that they are offering. It's an offered option, which you must take. Is that an option? Because by definition, as Jackie Childs would point out, something that's an option must be optional. (laughs) It's like an innocent bystander. We reached out to GM to ask whether this mandatory subscription model is headed to Chevrolet or Cadillac, and a spokesperson responds by saying the plan is being offered on new Buick, GMC, and Cadillac Escalades at this time. So they kind of sidestepped the question by simply saying, well, here's where we are right now, and they were asked about the future, so they didn't answer that question. And uh, you'll notice that the Toyota key fob was mentioned in there. That's one uh, key fob remote start that uh, anytime I mention that, people jump into the comments and say that that is not happening. Yet, people in the news keep reporting it. And uh, I seem to recall even Toyota talking about it. So I'm not sure why people do that, but there are people out there who just simply have whatever it is, that one thing that ticks them off. But the real issue here, and I said earlier, I said, well, the three-year optional thing that you must buy uh, there's a reason why they don't just give it to the person who buys the car. And that is that, number one, if you own the car for more than three years, well, you got to keep paying for it, okay? But number two, when you sell the car to somebody else to trade it in, they, of course, can charge whoever gets the car then the subscription price as well. And that is how it was previously, obviously. If you bought a used car that had OnStar capability, you could sign up for it if you wanted to. But the real issue here is simply they're going to tell you, well, it's on your car and you have to pay for it. So we're we're entering uncharted waters here in many respects. But it's kind of like, I think, how car companies figured out a few years ago that you can go to all the trouble of building a car. And then you sell it to a dealership and the dealership sells the car. And you make a little bit of money, but there's a lot of competition. They discovered that If you lend money to people who want to buy your cars, you can make a lot of money off the financing. Suddenly, all the car companies had financing arms. And who'd have thought? All the trouble of building a car or simply lending somebody money. And (laughs) it's like, wait. In some respects, you could just build the cars so there's something to put in the pipeline to finance, right? Right? And so now they're looking around for other ways to make money. It's very, very difficult to make money in the auto industry because there's so many things that can go wrong and cost you money, including things like vehicle recalls and so on, and trying to meet all kinds of government standards and how cars are built for different markets and all kinds of crazy stuff, right? And don't get me wrong, car companies can make money. They can, right? A lot of ways they can go sideways, but, but they can make money. But how can they make more money? And that, of course, is what a lot of businesses look at. They go, okay, we're making money. How do we make more money? And so it used to be that General Motors had like, you know, a big chunk of the American car market. I'm thinking, you know, back in the 50s. And so they didn't have to think that hard about how to make money. Just keep building cars and keep selling cars. But when the competition increased over the next 50, 60 years, and they finally found themselves facing competition that could, you know, build better cars in the Uh, they have to come up with other ways to make money. So unfortunately, I think what's going to happen is all of the car companies are going to start doing this. It's going to be little tiny increments at first. But it's going to get to the point where when you look at a vehicle and it says, here's the MSRP, you're going to have to ask, okay, what else am I being forced to buy along with that? And what subscriptions must I subscribe to to keep that car on the road? And uh, it could be heated seats. It could be your key fob. It could be your OnStar. And like I said, I had OnStar. And I'll admit it was a few years ago. And I had it in the car and never used it. 
Never used it. Now, I've known people who've had OnStar and have used it. But when I ask them what they use it for, they describe things that could be done with their cell phone. Like you can ask OnStar to tell you where you are. (laughs) Now, I understand that if you do that while you're driving, it'll keep you from having to pick up your phone and look at your phone. That's great. But of course, the tech savvier people in the audience will tell you that I'm right on this, that you can actually get a mapping app on your phone and have it speak turn-by-turn instructions to you so that you can set it in the console and never look at it, and it'll simply say, three miles ahead, turn right. Approaching, turn right. Turn right now. Okay, and it'll, it'll get you there. And that was the service that OnStar offered years ago. It seemed pretty cool, and I actually know somebody right now who still uses OnStar to get places. She gets in the car, tells it where she wants to go, and it gets her there. And I said, you understand that that's, you know. And she goes, well, the car's got OnStar, so I use it. So I don't know if they're hoping that more people will use it, if it's jammed into more cars, or if there's more functionality I don't know about. That's possible, too. I'll admit I don't know. I don't know. So there you go. But I do think more subscription-based stuff is coming. And so as GM Authority writes, as also the drive wrote, Buick and GMC models get mandatory. Three-year OnStar and Connected Services plan. Sam McEachern and Peter Holdreth wrote those two stories. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Today, some advice that may help with headaches. Remember, when you get out of bed in the morning, it's feet first.